Good morning, beautiful people. How are ya? It is Natalie, aka Peg City Lovely here with you this beautiful Monday morning. It's cloudy, a little overcast, but that's all right because there's no S-N-O-W on the ground. That's all that matters. <laughs> so how are ya? I missed you last week and I hope you realize that the reason I didn't do a Monday AM Musings last week is because I was on Global TV. I was on Global TV Winnipeg with the morning news with Brittany Greenslade and her and I had an awesome time chatting about local Winnipeg business gift ideas for Mother's Day. And those of you who perhaps live under a rock, <laughs> yesterday was Mother's Day. So I had a bunch of amazing local businesses that provided some great visuals, uh, Portico Living, Greenwood Naturals, Canadian Birch Syrup, Deconstruct Jewelry, Tiber River, Dierre Bay, uh, who else am I forgetting? Oh, can't forget, Chocolatier Constance Pop, of course, Generate Cakes. They all provided some really amazing visuals that you guys could see not just for Mother's Day but any time of year great great gift ideas great local businesses so hopefully I'll be able to uh, profile some of those wonderful women and it's funny that they're all women um, because uh, the Women's Enterprise Center here in Winnipeg I'm sure is aware of all of these great folks and their businesses and I hope to profile interview most of them very soon so that's that with uh, Mother's Day on Friday night, we, uh, my daughters and I got to go to the London Drugs 10 year anniversary. So Winnipeg has been fortunate to have London Drugs here. We only have the one store in St. Patel and uh, St. Patel Mall and they've been in the city for 10 years. And so they had a beauty gala. So we had makeovers, we had facials done, we had makeup done, we did before and after shots, five by sevens we got printed, and there was tons of samples, and I tried some new cosmetics, I bought some cosmetics, <laughs> so did the girls, and we had such a great time. We were there, I think, for almost three hours, chatting it up and having fun. And thank you to my new little best friends who thought I was only 20. Love you guys. <laughs> It was awesome, made my day. What else? Last thing on Mother's Day, just to let you know, Joey's Restaurant, uh, they have a, a contest, I guess, right now, where anyone who gave birth on Mother's Day has the opportunity to win a gift card, I believe a $100 gift card. So that's on until May 31st. I'll post some details on the blog, but that's Joey Restaurants. They have this wonderful, I guess, contest you would call it going on uh, for anyone who gave birth on Mother's Day so I'll, I'll release some details of that later on today on the topic of wonderful strong women let us not forget last week was also the YMCA Winnipeg Women of Distinction Gala and Awards and I'm so blessed to have been a part of it all I was part of the general awards selection committee with some really notable local Winnipeggers and so that was last week Wednesday and it was amazing to see everyone's bios and see these people in real life uh, that we had the opportunity to review and and um, and select every one of them is a woman of distinction every single one of them I could only hope to be nominated for something like that in my lifetime because it was truly an amazing event there was so many different people there the mayor was there lots of different politicians MLAs etc of course media as well so it was a great event and something that happens every year in Winnipeg I believe it was the 39th year so something to look out for next year is the YMCA Winnipeg Women of Distinction Awards all right what else oh my gosh okay so there's so much going on that I forgot to apply for TEDx Manitoba I hope that's not you I hope you remembered to apply because TEDx Manitoba I went for the first time last year and I had Wow, it, it was, uh, I, I can say I was speechless. It was that great. It was eye-opening, I cried, I laughed. It was amazing and unfortunately, I missed the deadline to apply. Hopefully you didn't, but TEDx Manitoba is coming up soon, so be on the lookout for that. Lots of great speakers. Um, just to follow up, I went to Rockport in Polo Park and that is a, a new concept store for Rockport. And I bought a couple of pair of shoes. And so I've been using the walking shoes, but the other day when I was on Global TV, I wore the Rockport heels, like the pumps, 
all day morning from like 6 30 in the morning till 6 at night and let me tell you those shoes are the bomb they're awesome I could not imagine wearing heels all day until I wore those so way to go Rockport big shout out to you guys love them love them love them love them all right <laughs> what else is going on of course I posted a part one review and unboxing of the HP Spectre X360 that is a convertible PC and it's phenomenal as well getting ready to post part two in the next couple days because it is so fun to use it's half laptop half tablet and I'm having a blast with it lots of different things I'm trying to uh, see what I could do I'm not trying to break it but you know <laughs> trying to see what I can do with it it's been very difficult to make that transition from my uh, Mac because I've been so used to that for a while but I'm telling you having that touch screen is huge for me huge 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 so stay tuned for that what else lots of fun stuff coming up with Procter & Gamble. As you know, I'm a PG mom, so I've got some fun giveaways and, and stuff from CoverGirl coming up. Second Cup, those of you that love your coffee, as I do, Second Cup has a new rewards program, so I'm going to post information about that. Really cool rewards program for coffee and lattes and all that kind of fun stuff. And then in addition to their rewards program, they have a new product coming out this week. Some, I can't remember the exact title of it. I don't want to mess it, but it's a frappe of a sort. And so I'll be posting a nice giveaway basket for that as well. So you can win it. All right. So excited. What else? Um, uh, yes. Okay. Let's continue on with giveaways and cleaning. <laughs> because I don't know about you but it is still very dusty and yucky outside and so I have some Church and Dwight products that I will be listing as well on my giveaway page and those products include OxyClean things like Arm & Hammer carpet refresher those types of things so stay tuned for that as you can tell I'm a busy girl and so I have lots to share with you guys all the time and uh, one of my Mother's Day wishes was to have time alone to do that. <laughs> Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but hopefully it'll happen soon. There's another existing giveaway I have that's Spartan Race that's coming to Manitoba in July, July 11th to be exact. And I have a giveaway for two race entries. And every few weeks, the price goes up. So right now, if you win my two giveaway entries, obviously it's free, but it's at that rate. If, uh, if you'd like to add uh, uh, your entry, please get on there. It's really not that hard. Just listen to my interview with Terrence and there's a couple of little hints in there about what we talked about to enter and then you can enter the giveaway. So share, spread the word. That's gonna be a great time, great obstacle course. There's so many other events happening as well in Winnipeg coming up in the next little while. It's unreal. So I'm hoping I have enough time to share them all in a timely fashion with all of you. I've, I've got a couple of interviews that I still have to upload. Interviews, as great as I love doing them, they take some time to make sure I edit them and get all the background noise out and all that kind of fun stuff. But one interview that I did do a couple weeks ago is uh, the women's, Winnipeg Women's Slow Pitch League. And I met with the, uh, I believe she's co-president. Her name is Karina. And she did a fabulous job and told me all about the Women's Winnipeg uh, Slow Pitch League and really the things that they do, the camaraderie. And it's just a great time with your girlfriends. So stay tuned for that. You can still sign up, I believe, as well. This week might be the last week for that. And of course, as I said, uh, celebrity chef David Rocco, I had a great time chatting with him. Our interview was actually really long <laughs> because we were just having a little too much fun. But he's, as you know, a Barilla Canada ambassador. So he has a lot to talk about and share with sharing the table which is all about making meals more meaningful with your family. So our interview was hilarious and he promised he would come to Winnipeg. So I'm holding him to that. <laughs> what else? Oh my gosh, so much. I don't want to talk off your ear, but May Long's coming up this week. So May Long weekend, I'm going to have an extra long weekend. We're doing a huge family road trip. Well, not huge, but our immediate family and uh, my dad, my sister, we're, we're heading out to Clear Lake and Clear Lake somewhere that we used to go every single year when we were kids. And when my mom passed away or before she passed away, she really wanted us to make sure we went back there as a family. 
And so that's exactly what we're doing this coming weekend. Hoping and praying that the weather holds up a little bit so we can spend some time outside, but at least we'll have time to spend with each other. So that's Clear Lake and Riding Mountain National Park and lots of activities going on out there because it's the kickoff weekend for May Long kick off to summer so stay tuned for my blogging journey on that what else marvel universe live spider-man iron man hulk all of that's coming to winnipeg as well i will have tickets to give away for that in july uh, uh the events in, the, in july but i'll have the tickets much sooner then there's also kids fest at the forks that's a great festival for children i will have tickets to give away just like i did last year and Man, I'm telling you guys, I have so many ideas, so many things I want to do and share with you guys. I just wish I had enough time to do it all. Um, a photo contest. I told you guys I did Peg City Snap, and that was just for Winnipeg photos. But I have a new photo contest in the works that's coming up as well, and that's for all across Canada. But I haven't forgot about my American friends. I have a few American readers as well. And I've really struggled with how to do a giveaway for you guys. But I do have something in mind. And it's going to be an Instagram only contest. And that's coming up soon too. So stay tuned. And you know what guys? It's just busy. It's crazy. It's fun. It's exciting. And I'm excited to share everything that I'm doing with you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I love being positive, I love having optimism, and I love sharing things that are local to my wonderful city of Winnipeg, and I love doing stuff that's national too. So stay tuned as always to pegcitylovely.com, which is my blog, and I cannot leave you without our weekly quote, of course, and today I talk about success, and a lot of people have different views and interpretations of what success is. And this quote is very fitting towards that, that phrase. So, success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. So, I believe I'm very successful <laughs> because I love what I do and I love how I do it. All right. So, that is Maya Angelou, by the way. I hope you all have a fabulous week. I can't wait to share more with you. Please engage, message me on my Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, what have you. I will respond. I love talking with people if you don't already know. And maybe you'll just catch me on TV again soon. But I hope you all have a great week. Be good to each other. And uh, that's it for now. Bye.